What's up guys, Coach Bobby here. Let's talk about motivation and human behavior, all right? Happy Friday, everybody. Happy, happy Friday. I'm out here, nice day in my hometown of Gilroy, California. We're passing out football equipment with my team today. So I'm out here early before our workout, uh, but wanted to dive into a topic that I talk about quite often, um, oftentimes in sarcasm and sometimes even in, in borderline anger. Because if you think about it, guys, we, we celebrate way more often than we've earned the right to celebrate. So think about it. How many, how many made up holidays do we have? And by made up, I don't mean that they're not worthy of us understanding and recognizing these things. I mean made up to the degree that, that we have to go all out and eat in abundance and drink in abundance and do things that, that we shouldn't be doing in abundance. And we do that in the name of some holiday, right? So this, this week, weekend, this week, we are celebrating the 4th of July, which is our nation's independence. Worthy reason, I get it. But do we have to eat until we're full? Do we have to drink until we can't talk? Do we have to spend all weekend eating and drinking and, and celebrating something that we don't even really honor most of the year, if we're being honest. And it, it, it goes down the line. I mean, there's a holiday every month that we use as an excuse to, to eat and drink and, and act a fool. There really is, I mean, every week, many of us spend our weekend relaxing and enjoying a reward for a week of work. So in our head, we deserve the right to go out and have fun on the weekend because we have worked for somebody else, for the most part, for a week. Because we have done something that's vigorous, time consuming, and often that we don't even enjoy, but yet we feel that we've earned the right to reward ourselves on the weekend. Now, that's not how the human brain works. It's not how any animal's brain works. By right? putting a reward behind a task is supposed to make the animal, the person, increase the efficiency, the effectiveness of the task, right? So what I try to do is I try to put my rewards behind accomplishments, big and small. I try to put my rewards behind things I know I have to do in order to get to where I want. So I don't look forward to the weekend unless I've done some work physically, mentally, spiritually to earn the right to enjoy the weekend. Right, I don't just say, well, I, I, I went to a job for, for five days, I deserve a drink, or I deserve to go out and have dinner, or I deserve to go down the coast and do this or that. I, I try to put it behind um, things that are moving me toward my dream. Otherwise, if I'm celebrating things, if I'm celebrating weeks or holidays that are after things that are not taking me to my vision or my dream, I am driving the wrong behavior, right? I'm minimizing the, the reward system that naturally pushes us forward, right? I'm denying myself the right, the right boost of dopamine that your brain gets if you are doing things that you have to, you have to earn and then you give yourself a reward for that. And it's big and small. If I'm in a workout, this is a micro, a micro reward, um, in a workout and I want to go 20 minutes before I open the garage or 20 minutes before I take my first layer of clothing off. That's a mini reward for my body, a mini reward for my brain. So I could push 10 more minutes knowing that I'll get 
a, a minimal or small reward in the way of, of more comfort, of having less clothes on, of having a cooler room. But if I just do it whenever, if I just open the garage whenever I feel uncomfortable, I'm not training my brain to do the things necessary to earn the reward, right? If you're in a day, if you're if, you know, at, at, a, at a daily level, right? Don't get up from the chair to go to the bathroom until you've done 20 minutes of that spreadsheet or 20 minutes of writing in your journal or writing your book, right? Say you'll go for a walk in two hours after you've done your reading or you've done your work, right? Say you'll go get lunch after you've done 25 business calls. So the reward is the lunch. The reward is the walk. The reward is getting up and going to, going to use the bathroom. The reward is opening the garage. Whatever it is, right, it should be behind something, right? And those, those behind somethings should be things that take you closer to your dream, right? So I don't want you guys to necessarily think of this as a negative. I know it sounds negative, but it's not because if we celebrate 25 holidays a year and we celebrate 52 weekends a year and they're never after anything that's fruitful, right? Our desire for things, our desire to do the things necessary to get those things goes away, right? If you, if you vacation every year, regardless of how you did in your career or how you did in your book or how you did in your, in your fitness goals, why would you want to, to be better? if you're giving yourself the reward, whether or not you do anything. So just frame things differently, right? I want you to still enjoy life, obviously. I want you to still, but I want you to, to earn the right. And I know earn the right sounds like, like a negative connotation, but I mean in your head, put that behind, put the reward behind something, right? All the, all the research, all the t testing that we do on animals and human behavior prove that when you put the reward behind the task that you wish to elicit from the, from the, from, from, from the, from the, uh, the animal that you're testing, that animal is more likely to do that task effectively and efficiently. So let's try doing that. Let's try figuring out a way to, to, make sure that we do things, that we itemize the steps to our greatness, that we set goals, that we set dreams, and then we place our ambitious desires, right? Our rewards, we place them behind, right? And predicated on those accomplishments and predicated on those steps, right? So that we can begin to, to make our brain attach the work right to the reward right and when the work is what you want to to grow into it becomes a natural efficiency a natural growth and effectiveness okay so your your job today right today's the 30th is i want you guys to figure out a few things that you should be doing in your career personally relationships fitness and i want you to, to between now and the fourth of july for you Americans watching this, I want you guys to figure out something you can put between now and then, right? Maybe it's two workouts. Maybe it's write five pages of your book. Maybe it's spend time reading. Maybe it's read, you know, five chapters in the book. Maybe it's watch a documentary, something or some things. Write down what those things are that you will do between now and the fourth. And when you're, when you're enjoying that, that beer, or that meal on the fourth, I want you to think about the fact that you did those things to earn it, right? So even though you probably would have done the same thing anyway, now that you're attaching that to the work you did, your brain will begin to attach the work towards your dream to the reward you're giving yourself. And you begin to you'll feel dopamine releases. You begin to feel pleasure in the journey you begin to want to create more steps, more challenging uh, steps to your dream because you begin to understand that by doing that and connecting it to your dream, you're making your brain understand that we enjoy the reward, but we enjoy the reward because we know 
what we've set up, set out to do to get it, and we've done those steps. All right, all right, guys. So yeah, so so just reframe all these all these rewards we're giving ourselves, and let's just try to make sure that we do some work uh, to recognize, to so our brain can recognize that we've earned the right uh, to enjoy the weekend, to enjoy the 4th of July, to enjoy the holiday, whatever it is, that meal, that drink, that, that vacation, whatever it is, let's, let's find ways to put our, our goals and our visions in front of those rewards. All right, guys. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.